Well, thank you very much, Constance. And one of the exciting things for this presentation, uh, being a city staff person for the city of Benicia, my name is Mario Giuliani. I have the, the great fortune of heading up our economic development division for the city. And one of our two key values in the city of Benicia um, is economic development and sustainability. And one of the great fun things about my job is to put forward a program that marries those two values. I want to talk about what we have titled our Business Resource Incentive Program. In a nutshell, what the city of Benicia is doing is providing energy assessments to our business community free of charge. We have qualified firms, in this case Carbon Lighthouse and TEA. These are industry experts that will go into one's business, do a top-down assessment on where you're spending your energy, where your water use is going, where your waste is going, and they're going to compile a report listing out various actions or improvements you can do to your business. And in addition to that, they're going to map out funding mechanisms in order to pay for that. And it's going to start with the city of Benicia. We have a program where we will grant your business $10,000 to act upon those recommendations. And in addition to that, we will loan up to $25,000, no interest. And if it's more than that, we will loan up to $50,000, low interest. The idea here is to get capital into our businesses. Uh, so successful was the concept of this program, we've already been recognized internationally and through the state of California uh, with two awards that are featured um, on the slide behind me. We won in November the Gold Award for the International Economic Development Council and then earlier this year the California Association for Local Economic Development, uh, we won an award as well. Very excited to announce that we have a handful of participating businesses just within the last nine months when this pro program really kicked off. Uh, these are businesses within our community. They're providing tax dollars, jobs, and we're able to go in there um, and make them more profitable using less of the resources like electricity and water. I want to highlight a couple of these success stories. We recently just finished an escrow Signal Solutions for our first loan, and Signal Solutions will be our very first solar project. They are installing solar panels um, across their roof. Uh, this is a total project cost of $58,000. This is a combination of grants and loans, and we're going to talk about the success that this project is, is um, bringing as far as cost savings and energy savings. Scroll down to Conhagen. We went from Signal Solutions, which is a pretty robust project, to something a little bit more modest. And this is really just to describe how this program can work. You don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. In Conhagen's case, they only spent 12,000, but they were able to, to retrofit all of their lights in their warehouse, um, resulting in substantial energy savings. We actually began with All Points Petroleum, uh, which is a trucking company that uh, uh, transports fuel. Uh, and Ron Miska, who is our chair of our Economic Development Board, uh, said, I will happily volunteer and, and I'll help kick off this program. And he did so, and we were able to invest $9,000 into his company, and he'll be saving over $3,500 a year just in energy costs for the improvements that were done. Dunlop Manufacturing, uh, another pilot program. And one of the nice things about Dunlop Manufacturing is we were, we were not only uh, able to invest with our own program money, we were able to invest with PG&E as well. So instead of Dunlop having to take $25,000 from our BRIT program, they were actually able to borrow that in on-bill financing from PG&E. So another uh, example of where we were able to leverage city dollars on third-party dollars to get it back into a Benicia business. Suba Manufacturing, again, uh, another modest uh, grant. It was just less than $10,000, and we're able to save Suba $2,000 a year on energy costs. Now, all told, these first five businesses have saved $46,000 in their first year. Not bad. In addition to that, we're also working, and we care about the greenhouse gases that we're able to save. And so we're very proud to say that 
just those first five took 6,000 gallons of gasoline off the grid. Um, and that's something we're very proud of. And, and we're continuing to grow and we're improving our numbers. As we look ahead, um, this will take 55 tons of greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere in one year. And, and we're continuing to grow. As, as we look ahead, we have four more BRIT projects. They've already had their assessments. The improvements haven't been done yet, but they will be in the next eight weeks. And when those improvements go online, we can expect an additional $92,000 in savings for those businesses. And in addition to those savings, we'll more than double our projected greenhouse gases to 85 tons a year. That's just in four more businesses. All told together for 2013, after all of these businesses will have one year in the can, we will have saved the equivalent of 113 acres of forest through this program. So again, this is a combination, this is a marriage of economic development and sustainability. Thank you very much.